Hello chaps, how are you doing today? Uh, it's John with you and I'm going to do an unboxing an unboxing of this kit. It's the Italieri Oops, there we go. Lav 25 Piranha It's the Gulf War 25th Anniversary Edition and it's the United States Marine Corps uh, Lav 25. So, without further ado, let's go down to the bench and we'll have a look and uh, see what's in the box. So, first of all, we'll have a look at the box itself. Let me see what it is. Uh, it's the 25th anniversary Gulf War, um, Lav 25 Parana. Kit number is 6539. And it's a model kit, as if you didn't know, and it's a 135th scale from Italieri. Box art shows a nice picture of the Lav 25 in desert colours, and obviously it's somewhere in the Gulf. Uh, the Gulf War. So we'll have a look at the box itself. Uh, it gives us the kit number, the length of it, which when completed is 18.2 centimeters long. It gives us um, some info here on the Lav 25 in English, Italian, German, French, Russian, and Spanish. Uh, this side is not really that much info. On this side, it gives us there we go. Uh, usual bump, as uh, Sharpie would call it. Uh, it's for 14 years plus, and it gives us some color callouts of it. It gives three options in the box. So, no further ado, let's get the box open and let's have a look at what we get inside the box. So, inside the box, what do we get? We get our instruction sheet. We get a small decal sheet. And we get one, two, three spoons. So, let's zoom down a bit. We'll have a look at the sprues. So, we'll start off with sprue A. And on sprue A, we get and it's zoom in it gets a proper kind of focus on this. It's got the uh, lower hull, back doors, plate, exhaust. We get some jerry cans. We get the lids for the jerry cans. Uh, we get some suspension parts. Um, some more suspension parts. Two hatches. More suspension. So that's about it. So we'll zoom down another little bit. I mean, have a look, a closer look. So see if there's any flash and that kind of stuff on them. Um, there we go, that seems to zoom in a bit better. It seems okay, I don't see any flash. Moulding seems quite crisp and anything else. There's the, uh, the back door and the exhaust. And that decides to... There we go. We've got those uh, jerry cans. They are quite nicely moulded. Um, there a second just to adjust itself. There we go. Quite nice, quite you know, crisp enough, they're not too bad. Um, we've got some handles, like I said, and we've got the, uh, the suspension, we've got some tow hooks and things, some of the uh, springs there, suspension springs. And we've got the uh, the main sort of suspension parts for that. So that seems to be, you know, not bad at all. I don't see any uh, um, visible ex uh, marks on it or uh, ejector pin marks and things like that. Just have a quick look at the inside. It seems okay. There doesn't seem to be any. Um, any large bits of uh, scraping and cleaning off to get done to that. It doesn't have an interior, it's quite a basic model, but it's not bad at all and it seems to be okay. Around these springs and things, they look to be quite nicely moulded and I'm happy with that. So that's sprue A. 
Next we've got, yep, you guessed it, Sprue B. <laughs> so on Sprue B we get the upper hull. You get a few more uh, what appear to be suspension bits and pieces. We get the wheels and we get uh, the wheel caps, you know, the nut caps and things like that. We get a, a hatch, uh, the mirrors, propellers, it's amphibious, and we get uh, lights and what appears to be another bit of uh, suspension parties. So let's have a look down and we look and see what these are like. If I bring that up rather than bring them down, that should be a bit easier for us to have a look. The wheels are in two parts, so you're going to have a seam line and a, a, a glue line, sure, whatever you want to call it, a join. But uh, they seem to be okay. A little bit of clean up uh, when we get them joined should be okay. The, um, the bolt detail. It seems okay as well. And we've got the other half of the wheels, eight wheels on it. Um, the upper hull itself seems to be quite nice. Tiny little bit of flash here at the end, but really that we can't clean off and look. And it, there seems to be some nice sort of locator marks there for little bits and pieces that we'll be adding on at a later stage. Uh, we just turn it over and have a look at the inside of it. Um, yeah, I don't see any problems with that whatsoever. It seems to be quite nice indeed. And those mirrors. Now, do we have a little bit of flash there, all right, on the mirror, but like, you know, we can clean that off. Um, doesn't seem to be too bad. And we've no big uh, ejector pin marks which is the main thing and we'll have a look at those little propellers just a little bit of clean off again you know a little bit of a scrape from the knife and they'll be, they'll be fine um, don't see any problems or anything like that so that's Sprue B and finally we've got Sprue C C Sprue we've got the, uh, the centre there of the uh, the top piece. We've got the bottom of the turret the, where the turret fits together. We've got a nice 7.62 um, machine gun there. We've got some ammo boxes, some other little boxes and things. There's the uh, Bushmaster, 25 mil as far as I can remember. Um, more handles, more um, jerry cans, got a little bit of stowage, um, we've got some panels, some more stowage boxes and things that will all be added to the top of it. We've got, um, appears to be an interior deck but you never know, we'll see what that is when it comes around to the building and we've got the turret itself very very nicely molded very nicely molded indeed um, yeah you've got the uh, vision blocks or whatever pre-molded onto it some people like that some people don't I don't bother me in the slightest um, we've got the mantlet for the um, for the Bushmaster, what appears to be a little machine gun there, that's more little bits and pieces. Uh, when it comes to flash and ejector pin marks and things like that, there's very few of both. Tiny little bits of flash here and there, but you know, nothing that can't be scraped away, a bit of a bit of a sanding and cleaning. So that's the three sprues, they're quite nice. Um, it isn't an extremely highly detailed kit. There isn't uh, a major amount in it. Um, but, you know, it's, you can go off and you can get and pay big bucks and you can go off and buy your expensive one with all the little 
fiddly bits and pieces that you've got to go sort of putting together and make about 40 parts just to make the wheels and things. All right, here's the decal sheet. Um, it, there we go. That's the decal sheet. Quite basic, quite simple. I mean, they didn't really go for too many decals. You know, it's not like an airplane. with has got the, all the little uh, don't step here, don't step there. Mind your willy as you're getting in, all that kind of stuff. And finally, we've got the uh, the instructions themselves. So there's just a little parose across the instructions. We won't take too long. We won't. I won't bore you with them. Gives you a little bit of information there on the lav 25. Yeah, 25 millimeter cannon. I was right. It's a M242 Bushmaster. So, let's zoom in. Will you zoom in? God's sake. All right. So the instructions themselves. How are they? Are they? Uh, are they crisp, uh, easy to see, easy to work from, things like that. That's the main thing I like about the instructions. Nothing worse than badly printed instructions. Too many steps within the one picture, things like that. Drives me up the bloody wall, it does. So we got our sprue maps, our, our map of the tree sprues, nicely numbered, showing us where each piece is and supposed to be. Um, steps themselves, nicely printed, nice and clear as you can see and not too many steps, not too many little uh, procedures on each step. Nicely clearly marked and shows you exactly where they go which is very nice. Um, nice drawings showing you the orientation of the pieces, things like that. And like I said, not too much uh, in the one section. It does give you a small interior for the back. It does, yes. So it's uh, quite nice. So you can have the, uh, the doors open if you want. Um, we've got our... Putting on the uh, stowage and things like that. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, it gives the, uh, the lights at the back putting the doors on it gives you a nice bit of inside detail like I said and you have the chairs and the benches inside so you can have the doors either open or closed uh, putting on the handles and things the lights you know the, the colors for the inside of the lights putting on the hatches putting the wheels together and getting them on there's eight wheels all together the exhaust, then we're onto the turret, and that's it. So we've got ten steps in total, which is uh, which is grand, <laughs> not a major build. And we've got three uh, callouts, colour callouts, whatever. We've got one. It's in just uh, flat sand, and U.S. Marine Corps unknown unit, Saudi Arabia, 1991. Got um, a second one here, which is sort of a semi camouflage, I suppose you'd call it. But it's got a flat side and, and the brown uh, duty marks on it, and we've got it in the, uh, the NATO camouflage for um, U.S. Marine Corps again, unknown unit, Saudi Arabia, 1991. But um, if you're doing it in the, uh, the this one, the uh, NATO camouflage, it can be stationed in the US or anywhere in Europe, wherever the Marine Corps were and uh, operated around that time period. Because they weren't only in the Gulf, and these things weren't just specifically built just for the Gulf. <coughs> <coughs> to the best of my knowledge, they're still using variations of variants of this today. Not 100% sure, I'm sure one of, the, um, one of my subscribers who is well up on his Marine Corps stuff will let me know about that. So anyway, it's a nice kit, it's from Italieri, like I said, it's kit number 6539. Um, it was given to me as a present by uh, my good friend Simon, Simon Kemp from Simon Kemp's Models. I will put a link in the description box below to Simon, because most of you are already subscribed to Simon, so we won't worry too much about that. <laughs> Go over there, give Simon a, you know, give him a look. So anyway, that's the uh, inbox review. 
nothing exciting nothing major and we get stuck into that pretty soon so thank you for watching thank you for taking the time out to you know to bear with me while i blubber my way through another video so until like, the next time this is john saying don't forget to like and subscribe and go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it see you next time lads john signing off